Good morning, knife people, and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I wanted to talk about patinas on carbon steel blades a bit. Um, as we lovers of traditional knives know, many or most of traditional pocket knives um, are made of carbon steels. And a carbon steel basically is a steel that contains about, well, half a percent to, to 1.4, 1.5% 1 of carbon and only little amounts of other chemical elements such as chromium, vanadium and things like these. And this kind of chemical composition gives the knife some very favorable properties. Um, for example, it's very easy to sharpen com compared to other stainless steels. It takes a very, very fine edge so you can really get it razor sharp pretty easily and the edge holding is very good. If you get a knife with good heat treatment which is well vital to every kind of blade steel but um, if you get a knife with a with a decent heat treat a carbon steel blade which will cost a lot less than a higher end stainless steel blade will hold an edge just as long or longer as a higher end uh, stainless steel but there is one trade off if you just if you want to call it a trade off for me it's just a cool feature of these blades which is of course they are not rust resistant um so they will develop a patina over time if you allow it and i really recommend you do so because a patina on a carbon steel blade is actually a good thing because it's a thin layer of oxide on the blade which protects the blade against actual rust or pitting or peppering as it's also called. So this thin grayish layer of oxide on the blade as you see on this a month old uh, knife actually prevents rust which could indeed damage the blade. So I really recommend you allow your blades to develop a patina unless you want to wipe them off and oil them every time you use them, which is actually not that practical. Some people prefer to force a patina on their blades by well applying something like um, mustard or vinegar or sticking it into some kind of fruit. Um, but I'm not a too big fan of that because um, this generates a, a this creates a a spotty kind of patina. If you just keep using your knife every day, and after you used it, you just wipe it off, wipe it dry, and put it back in your pocket, you'll get a nice uniform grayish patina on your blade. If you don't do so, you might end up with something like this. This is my 47 Viper and um, this weekend my, my girlfriend and me went out to eat and um, well the, 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 the cutlery they had there, the knives were like butter knives and you really couldn't use them to, to cut your food. So I pulled out my Viper here and used it to cut my food and then just um, closed it and put it back in my pocket. And sometime later, when we came back home, I cleaned up the blade and I saw that it had developed this kind of bluish patina on the portion of the blade that had contact to the food. Which is pretty cool on the one hand because it's you got all these blue and red and yellow and purple colorings like you get sometimes when you're analyzing uh, titanium but on the other other hand it's like it looks a bit stained it's a bit you know you got all these colors <clears throat> mixed up it's not that uniform as on my second carbon steel blade so if you want a uniform patina uh, just wipe your knife off every time you use it and then put it back in your pocket if you force a patina onto it or you don't care or you don't uh, wipe it off directly after you used it you can get some sort of some kind of spotty looking 
patina on your blade. Okay, so if the blades rust, why should we use a carbon steel blade? You also get traditional pocket knives with stainless steel blades, such as this really beautiful Boker Stockman with these very nicely looking glossy red bone handles and this knife features a stainless steel as you can see here on the blade you got the model number 7474SS and SS stands for stainless steel I really don't know which kind of steel this is it's probably a German kind of steel so 1.4110 10 or 1.4034 or something like that but I really can't tell I'm not sure of course these blades are pretty stainless and rust resistant um, but you got some some features to it uh, which make me prefer a carbon steel blade over this one first of all it's they sharpen pretty similarly so they these kinds of blades are also pretty easy to sharpen and they also take a fine edge but the problem is the edge holding capability of this kind of steel isn't ne isn't nearly as good as of the carbon steel blades and you'll notice it pretty quickly when you're using the knife um, these kinds of steels um, don't hold their edge for a decent amount of time at least for me of course you could say well if you think about a higher end carbon steel um, these do hold an edge good and stuff yeah of course because we have we had de development and technology over time you can get uh, you know S35 VN steel which is also stainless and has amazing edge holding capabilities but we're talking about uh, traditional pocket knives here Okay, okay. I hear the people that now say, "Oh well, buy a Northwoods knife. You get CPM one. Uh, you get CPM um, one forty five, uh, one fifty four CM steel. Sorry, um, on these blades. Okay, you're right. There are traditional pocket knives with higher end stainless steel, but I think you get my point. So overall, I really prefer my carbon steel on my traditional pocket knives, and." Um, I really would rec recommend you let your, your knives develop a nice patina. Um, that's it for today. If you like my videos, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And, um, well, then I'd say see you on my next video. Bye.